OnePlus 70 in 2022, it's a two and a half year old phone now, but it feels like it never aged. This phone is affordable now, maybe around two to three hundred dollars. I pick up mine on news market for two hundred dollars. I believe few weeks ago I was able to play Mobile Legends in ultra settings on this phone. It also has 90Hz refresh rate. The screen is really smooth and social networking, call and text, and camera use will be a breeze. I know for the fact that this phone is one of the fastest phone of 2019. A lot of phones are using Snapdragon 855. OnePlus 70 is using Snapdragon 855 Plus. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and Note 10 Plus will be better and faster than other mid-range phones this year. So imagine OnePlus 70 with Snapdragon 855 Plus. This phone is still running on Android 11. Oxygen OS 11.0.6.1, we just updated it. XDA developer mentioned that this might receive Android 12 soon. OnePlus also promised three years of support for this phone, so this will update until September of this year. I like the symmetrical design of OnePlus 70. It looks like the more expensive Huawei Mate 40 Pro. The stunning design is backed up by a premium choice materials, Gorilla Glass both front and back, and aluminum frame. The only thing I don't like about this phone is the aging teardrop notch, but I'm just nitpicking. You will have buttons on both sides of the phone. I wish all buttons are on one side, because when you watch videos on landscape mode and put a little stress on your phone, it will accidentally press either the volume or power button on the other side. I also love the curved back design of OnePlus 70. Samsung S22 and iPhone 13 are a little boxy for me. Speaking of design and build, to sum up the trifecta of brilliance, don't forget the mute slider. This is the iPhone counterpart of Android and maybe even better iPhone only have mute and ring, but OnePlus 70 has silent, vibrate, and ring. I heard that Realme will imitate this function, but everything started from OnePlus. This was still the flagship killer of 2019. I will still call this a killer, the mid-range killer of 2022. It is fast, the design is great, it has a mute slider. This will beat some of the competition this year, the newer mid-range phone and even the flagship budget phones. did really good on the Geekbench 5 test. It scored 742 in single core and 2614 in multi cores. In comparison, Huawei P40 of last year had a score of 756 in single core and Samsung Note 20 Ultra has 2448 in multi cores. The newer Realme GT Master is 777 in single core. This phone feels like it never aged. It performs equally good as the newer phones. In terms of battery performance, this will work similar to a Samsung Galaxy S22 a little better because of the 3800 mAh and it runs on 4G instead of 5G. If you're not gaming and just using it for social media and stuff, this could be a day and a half phone. In my usage, I can make it until tomorrow morning with less than 10%. It doesn't have a headphone jack but it offers stereo speaker, 
uh, on the earpiece and the bottom speaker. The in-display fingerprint sensor is fast and reliable, and in my opinion, on my personal use, I think it's even better than Pixel 6. The camera is a true triple camera setup of 48 megapixel main, 12 megapixel telephoto, and 16 megapixel ultra wide. The photos are not pixel and iPhone look, but in daylight condition in a well lit environment, it will perform the same. This is the 4K video recording at 30 FPS. We are near the road, so let me know what the audio looks like or sounds like. We're also doing the video stabilization test. And also the light condition or exposure. This is the selfie video recording. Now I can see my face and it looks all right. Looks a little blown out uh, in the sky. The green looks good. And also the panning. Let's check the video stabilization. I will test this with a newer competition. So if you would like to see that, don't forget to subscribe. So what is Gadget Revenue's verdict? OnePlus 7T in 2022. If you can buy this cheap less than $300, go for it. I will not recommend this to people who wanted a newer design and the best camera phone possible. The notch is so 2019 and you can get better camera phones in Pixel. And I'll recommend this to anyone on a budget, but needing a good phone in a solid specs and love the mute slider, you will find this phone really appealing. OnePlus 70 is almost 3 years old phone, but with its speed, solid build quality and decent camera performance, it offers great value even this year, a phone that never aged. And there you go, hope you enjoyed this video, I will continue to compare OnePlus 70 in our channel so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.